Welcome back. This is the Whiskey Couch in Pretoria, South Africa. It is the place where whiskey and food come together in fantastic harmony. I'm Gustav and this video is a summary. It's a summary video of the five 12 year old single malts that I reviewed and with which I did food pairings. It was of course the first bracket in several brackets that I'm going to do. And in this particular video, I'm just going to give a quick summary and of course I'm going to reveal which of these five single malts is my personal favorite. And I'm also going to ask Elna to reveal which was her favorite. So I've got all five of them, the Ben Riach, Deanston, Glen Moray is hiding here behind the Singleton of Dufftown and that is the Ocantoshan 12 year old. But first let me get to the summary. Ocantoshan 12 year old. My summary for this whiskey was smooth with toffee, citrus, nuts, oak and the spice balance. I paired it with lemon meringue crepe. That is my theme throughout these 12 year old single malts that I'm reviewing. Is a crepe with the right kind of filling to connect to the whiskey. So that this one I paired with lemon meringue crepe. And I remember it was just delicious. The lemon meringue connecting to the citrus notes in the Ocantoshan. The second one was the Deanston 12 year old and my summary for the Deanston rich sweet honeyed with fruity spice multi balance and I paired it with a crepe filled with smoked salmon and cream cheese with lemon juice drizzled on top. Perfect perfect pairing. The third whiskey was the Ben Riach 12 year old over there on the far side. My summary, fruity, malty and slightly buttery. And the crepe that I paired with that one, and of course Elna helps me to prepare all of these food snacks. The crepe was filled with apple pie filling. And um, that was a highlight in terms of pairing, I must say. Before I get to the fourth one, let me just take a sip of my dram before I continue. Slanger. Oh, fantastic. Where was I? Glen Murray. That was the fourth one right at the back here. Glen Murray, 12 year old single malt. My summary, honeyed cereal with canned fruit salad. And the Glen Murray I paired with a crepe with creamy barbecue chicken filling. And that worked very well as well. And the last one, the Singleton of Dufftown. My summary, sp more spicy than sweet for me personally. The crepe was filled in terms of the pairing with fruit salad. A fruit salad crepe was used to pair with that wonderful single malt. So which one is my favorite out of these five? 12 year old single malts in the first bracket of 12 year old single malts that I'm reviewing and that I'm doing food pairings with. My personal favorite, considering all five, is the Deanston. Deanston 12 year old. This one right here, hiding behind the rest. I just love that. It really stood out for me. It is rich, it's non chill filtered, and it just has lots and lots of character. It was definitely different when compared to the other four. And my second choice, no, my second choice is part of the blind tasting that I'm going to reveal that there. So what we did, Elna and myself, we lined these up, we poured the dram of each, we numbered the glasses at the bottom so we couldn't see the numbers and then we took the boxes away and we had just the five whiskies there. Elna went out of the room, I swapped them around and then I went out of the room and Elna swapped them around so we had no clue which was which. Then we nosed all of them, we tasted all of them, added a bit of water, nosed them again and tasted them again. And then not knowing which one was which, I picked my favorite in the blind tasting and it was Deanston 12 year old again. So that was a nice confirmation for me. My second choice in the blind tasting, that was a surprise, not knowing what it was, was actually the Glen Murray 12 year old. I would not have thought that that would be 
but it shows you I did not think that that would be my second choice it shows you sometimes names and branding it has an effect so that was very interesting Elna also had a favorite I'm gonna ask her to share with you which one was her favorite and which one was her second choice This was the first time that I did a blind tasting myself and it was very interesting. I enjoyed it very much. My first choice was Ben Riach 12. I really enjoyed that. The creamy, the nutty flavor that I really experienced um, as well as the finishing that was a little bit of ginger spice. That, was, um, that really surprised me, but I enjoyed that very much. That was my first choice. My second choice, was Singleton of Duff Down. Um, that was also a surprise for me. As Gustav said, sometimes um, the branding and the names will influence you, but those two are my choices in the blind tasting. And that is it from us here in Pretoria, South Africa, the Whiskey Couch, the first bracket of five 12 year old single malts. In the next video, I'll be doing the first one of the second bracket which is going to be the Highland Park and I've got some of the others already lined up here Kalila, Bunahaven and the others are over there Baumur and Kilkeren all of them 12 year old and that'll be the second bracket in this series that I'm doing so wonderful things to come thank you for watching if you enjoyed this please click the like button subscribe invite your friends and I look forward to seeing you in the next video Slanger.